In this video, I will show you how to connect your hosting or domain to Go High Level. So doing this is fairly simple. What you want to go and do first is switch to a sub account inside of Go High Level that you want to connect to. And then within that sub account, just go to settings. And then here in the left menu, you want to go to domains, which is down here. And then from here, you want to go and click on connect a domain. Then just select the one at the top, usually, so funnel, website, store, blog, webinar, click connect right there. Now here, type in the domain that you bought, which for me is this right here, and then click continue. Then here you can also add www.yourdomain and redirect traffic to that domain, which is recommended, and I'll just do that too. Now it will be setting up your domain. Now usually you will need to add some DNS records, which I'll show you how to do. So you can see right here that Go High Level provides you with different records. So they have an A record and a C name. For now, just remember the A has this icon, C name has www, and then go and copy whatever is right here, which is the IP address. And now open up Hostinger, go to domains, and then here go to your domain and click manage. Then go to DNS and name servers right here. Now here from within your DNS, you just want to go and delete the ones that are right here usually, because we are going to be needing other ones. So just go and delete all of these. And then when there's nothing found right here, go and go to manage DNS records. First add type A with one of these icons and then points to paste in the IP address and click add record. Now here we're going to add a C name. So now just select C name and then name that www. Then here for the C name record, go and copy what is right there and go back to Hostinger and paste that in for the target and click add record. And after adding both the C name and A record, go back to go high level and click verify records. Now DNS updates could require up to 30 seconds and it can even take a lot longer. Usually it is done within 20 minutes, but often it won't work the first time. So you may need to wait a few minutes. Now in this case, it did work the first time and now you can connect it to your funnel, website, store, blog, or webinar. So if you have a website, you can then just gonna select that one right here. Now I don't have one yet, but you can now see that I have added it to my Goha level account. And now all you need to do is just connect it to your website or funnel. So now you know how to connect a hosting or domain to Goha level. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.